Let's learn about the first link method here and also first or default and understand the difference and also understand why should we use them instead of something else. So here I have a people variable that will hold list of person and list of person is basically just a class with name and age. And the difference between first or first or default is the first one will throw an exception if the criteria that you specify here does not match. So here what we're doing is we are looking for the name field here and we are checking if Bob could exist. Now we know Bob exists, but Bob with number two at the end does not exist. So what it will do is throw an error to say invalid operation. So you need to implode that within try catch, otherwise you will get an error. So the alternative is using first or default. So what this will do is if it cannot find this person, David, for example, who is not in our list over here, what it will do is return a null. So then we can use an if condition to check if person two is null. So rather than throwing an error or an exception, it will return a null. Now you can change what it returns. Although null is the only default value returns, you can then use the null coalescing operator here. So what this will do is if this expression here, so all this, if it returns null, then you will get the default person. And what is that default person? We've defined it here. So this will just have name of default, age of zero. So if I run this code here, so you can see the outputs that we get over here is person not found using first. So this is the error code here that got triggered because it could not find Bob. And the second one using first or default that's basically being used by our null check here and we've got the else here and it says person not found by first or default and of course the third option we have is where we are returning the default type using the null coalescing operator here basically if this side returns null because that's what first or default returns it returns null if david is not found then it will basically use the default person which we have defined here and that's the variable name so why would you use first or default what if you wanted more items returned so if you had multiple people called David or multiple people called Alice, Bob in your list, then you would not use the first or default because this will only return the first value that's in your list without returning all of them. But if you want to return all of them, then you should use the where method. But notice that the where method returns a collection, i enumerable, while the type return is a single item or null for first or default. So here you are safe to use, for example, when you use first or default, normally you can use the var keyword in this instance if you want it you can actually use the person class itself because it's only retaining a single item unlike where which actually returns a collection of i enumerable but you can find out more about in my other explanations so that's why when you do get type on the person variable here you get person slash as the output because that's what it's based off even if you were to use the bar keyword here it would still retain the person class because the compiler will figure this out that you're using first method here or first or default method here